it was like, it got to a point where I said, we got to go somewhere cool and start over with this because you're going to fry your brains, which I do think happened. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Roamers, I'm Jamie. I'm Linda. And this is Roaming with Rosie. We're just giving you a little update of what's been going on with us for the past couple months. We've been on the road for most of the last two months. Yep, we've been to San Diego. We've been to Williams, Arizona. Right, and we've also been to Utah, and we are currently in... Monument Valley. Right. And I'm not sure if we're in Arizona right now. When you're in Monument Valley, every block is, Welcome to Utah. Welcome to Arizona. Turn a corner. Welcome to Utah. Yeah. Welcome to Arizona. <laughs> but Monument Valley is closed. Yep. So the campgrounds are open outside the park, so it's a great place to stop for a night. Right. And it's closed because of COVID. Yeah. Um, up on the reservation, they just been hit really hard. On so. the Navajo reservation, yeah, they've so. been hit really, really hard. So I'll share with you the views from sunset tonight. They were amazing. Everyone was outside with cameras. And I just kept thinking, okay, I'm done. Oh wait, it just changed colors again. Okay, I'm to take some more pictures. Oh wait, now the moon shows up better. I gotta take some more pictures. You know, I was talking to one woman as I was taking pictures and she she goes, this is just incredible. And I said, unfortunately, everything that you take a picture of doesn't hold a candle to actually looking at it through your own eyes. There's no way to capture it with a photo. And there are a lot of beautiful photos of this area but when you're looking at it yourself, the 3D, nothing matches it. It's just incredible. That's where we are right now. And we want to give you an update of why we went on this trip and where we're going next. Yep. We finished up our, our trip in Williams, Arizona. We did five videos on that. So be sure to check them out. We just uploaded the final episode of that. Yeah, that's a, the one that's going to be all about Williams and Route 66 and all that kind of fun stuff. So then we were really super fortunate to head over to San Diego and get some beach time. So we could not find a place to stay over Labor Day weekend, so we headed back to Arizona. Which was an enjoyable trip. <laughs> it was 119 degrees for a good part of our drive. Right. Which was hot enough to melt the rear mud guard enough yeah, to fall off mud, mud flap the long skirt that goes across the back just below the engine um ours was all rubber it was an ultra guard and basically what happened was it got so hot hot that the where it was mounted on to the the back panel the holes actually expanded and i'll let linda tell you <laughs> So saw. I'm still driving behind. Um, we're not sure if we're going to get a tow dolly or if we're going to get a uh, pull a tow with four wheels down because we're not 100% sure we're going to keep the vehicle that we're, that we're currently using uh, to tag along. So the mud thing was I'm driving behind and I'll, I'm busy shooting. I have a sunroof and a lot of the video I shoot, I put the GoPro up out the sunroof to see where we're going and um, get some good video and all of a sudden I look up I'm radioing him like this this is not a radio this is a telephone no she was walkie-talking me <laughs> like this so he pulls off middle of the desert between California and Arizona and he goes out first thing he does gets down out of the rig comes around grabs the thing how hot was it because the next thing you did was a whole bunch of swear words came out. It was pretty around, hot. Went back into the motorhome and came back with gloves on. Yeah, well, it was pretty hot when I grabbed it. Not to mention, not only that, but... Dirty. Gross. It's really dirty because it's just below where the diesel engine is. So you have a lot of exhaust and stuff like that on there. And not to mention, I was hot. <laughs> He had the full seatbelt in two, sweat in, in, in two in him. two ways. I was hot. I was hot from driving in the temperature, and I was hot because I had to get out, pull off the side of the road once I gained some momentum, and pull this thing off. So I was just not having a good day. He's still a 
a good guy because he stands there with it for a second. And I'm like, throw it up in the bushes. And he's like, I can't do that. No, she said, are you going to leave it here? Or you just throw it off to the side. I'm like, I'm not doing that. I'm not that guy. I'm, I put it in the one of our bins in the side of the motorhome. And Is it still there right now? It's still there. <laughs> <laughs> now we get to why we went to Utah, but there's a bit of a story to how that happened. Right. And it has to do with our entire electrical system. We bought lithium batteries, Lion Energy batteries. That was a good thing. We hadn't installed the batteries yet because we hadn't done anything as far as a charger because we were going to upgrade to a, a lithium battery charger. But then we decided, hey, we want to we want to move towards more boondocking and stuff. That's kind of what the lithium battery thing was kind of all about. Which brought us to we need inverters to be able to do that. So what we ended up doing was buying two multi plus Victron multi plus inverter charger uh, units. Say that fast three times. Yeah, and the reason I we bought remember. the reason we bought two is because we have the 50 amp coach and I didn't want to have to go and rewire everything to one side that we use more on a regular basis. So after talking to Aaron Jones and also Matt at Continuous Resources, we basically decided we're going to get two of the multi pluses and then we were going to wire that into our coach, eventually get solar, um, and then we were going to run those I'm probably going off on a little tangent, but run them in split phase. So that means one, one inverter is running one side and one inverter is running the other side of the 50 amp service. So we have two 3,000 watt inverters, which is a good thing. Like I said, um, Aaron Jones did the whole... What Aaron, do you call Jones, it? Aaron Jones did a video and, and set up his new fifth wheel uh, with this type of setup. Um, he's already got the solar and all that done. He helped me with his wiring diagram as far as yeah. how he wired his batteries and his um, multi-pluses. So I kind of went off of what he said. Yeah, we Skyped a couple of times and he kind of walked me through how he set it up and how he wired it and all that kind of stuff. And we'll put all that in the in the episode about yeah, it. Yeah, we're so going to do a whole see. video about that. The other thing that happened was once I had it all kind of wired and everything, things weren't happening correctly. So um, Linda communicates with um shauna from life interrupted quite a bit life uninterrupted life uninterrupted and brian reached out to me to see if he could help me which i really appreciated and we kind of walked through everything is wired correctly and everything so they all did a really good job helping but this is these things have to be programmed you know i've done wiring before i've done electrical stuff before and i wired i wired everything and i double checked and <laughs> triple checked <laughs> And then uh, all of that was correct. Unfortunately, I was going back in and I knew, and I even said this to Brian, I said, what, can, when I, what I'm going to end up finding out is going to be a simple issue that has something to do with the programming. So all the time he was doing these um, Skype and Zoom meetings with Matt from Continuous Resources, who we bought the system from, and Continuous Resources is in Price, Utah, and they were going back and forth, and I'm going to put some pictures up here, but Jamie is sitting outside in the central Arizona in 115 degrees on the asphalt street with a beach umbrella and a beach chair and his computer with all of this going on. And it was like, it got to the point where I said, we got to go somewhere cool and start over with this because you're going to fry your brains, which I do think happened. <laughs> he yeah. hasn't been the same since. No. So, <laughs> he also had COVID though. So. Yeah, I did have COVID. <laughs> so, no, I haven't been the same since because I'm like, do I really want to do this anymore? <laughs> <laughs> so he wired everything back the way it was before any of this existed and that happened that happened numerous times <laughs> we we went to the first time was when we went to williams correct we went to williams yeah, we i went... thought if we got a nice camp spot at the koa and it's nice and cool that you get back on the phone with people and work on it there but yeah he, we got up know. there and it was 99 degrees so it wasn't there and wasn't much reprieve us. and it's like not forget it i'm not doing that up here you know it's no really not a whole lot different 
So what I ended up doing was wiring it back the way it was originally when the motorhome was built. Took all the inverters out of the, the, the equation. We went to Williams, enjoyed all of that. Went back home, rewired it all back up again to see if it would work. We took the rig to San Diego. Seemed to be working okay. Plugged in to shore power and it did not work. <laughs> so... Right when we got to San Diego and got set up and everything, I had rewire it back the way it was initially. So it's been wired and un and rewired probably three, maybe four times. Um, I was pretty much frustrated, but it was also something that I'm like, I'm not going to stop because one, we made this huge investment, but two, there's got to be a solution here. And I know that it's not the wiring and it's uh, got to be something with the programming. So after that terrible drive across the desert from San Diego back to Phoenix, um, right. I'm in, driving behind him with my air conditioning, me and Dexter, and yeah. I'm feeling terrible. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, what can we do? I'm like, you know what? You love Utah. We can go see Red Rocks. We can go to all the places you love. And we'll pop in and visit Matt and check out continuous resources and let him just see what's wrong. In the meantime, you communicated with him. And what he managed to do was uh, move some people around to be able to accommodate us. In the meantime, Matt was doing some investigating. He was working with Lion Energy to see if he could troubleshoot what it was. Basically, I think that we were kind of maybe some of the first people that put these pieces of equipment together so the communication of the there was of the equipment is the, was well the there issue. was there was some uh, figures that were put in as far as the battery high and low and 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 when it should go into charge and what it should be charged to and all that i told them i basically went with the same settings that i was getting off of some videos where people had battle born batteries i sent them a message and they said you should be okay with that and then Victron isn't is. Victron <laughs> is in Europe. <laughs> we actually reached out to other techs to see if there would be techs that could come and troubleshoot. There is no one in Arizona. There's a job opening for everybody yeah. in this country. Yeah, there's if no. If you want to become techs at this stuff, there are hardly anyone in the country yet. Yeah, there there isn't uh, there isn't really anybody in Arizona. I reached out to a couple and they said no, we don't we don't work on Victron at all. We don't even really know really Yet, know the name. When but... we went to Quartzite, this is the equipment that everybody's going to. It's, right, it's what you want. Right, it's I mean it's the top of the line, the best stuff you can get. But there aren't enough people available. There aren't enough trained people yet. Right, that's the issue. Because I talked to Matt at Continuous Resources and I asked, did he have you know, they, they, do they have training for techs? And he says, well, now because of COVID, that's all kind of changed. Yeah, they used to the have breaks. where they would actually have classes and stuff. So um, we get there, we get to Price, we get the, Matt comes out, meets us at our RV park, Correct. which was really nice. He went and looked at it. He asked me, you know, plug it into shore power and let's see it run off of shore power. And he says, that's working correctly. And then run it off the generator and that was working correctly and then he looked at my wiring he says yeah that's all correct everything looks good but then he <laughs> went and looked at some settings that were in the the multi pluses and they weren't the correct settings for the batteries and there was a there was a setting that was incorrect because of the type of generator that i had so Why those do you need text those for initial these settings once we got those changed everything dialed in and worked great yep so we were happy with that we got a great trip to utah and we got to dry camp yes finally yeah we so we kind of chose to dry camp in the overflow with this one campground in moab which worked out really well that was why we wanted to do this video we've got a whole bunch of videos coming up of, of our travels of we've found some really cool places in san diego that you might not know to go to there's no crowds at anything we went to at all. We no. know the best beach in San Diego. We probably shouldn't even tell you. Right. Nobody's ever there. And um, parking's free. 
and um, our travels to Utah and Moab were incredible. Oh my God, we found wow. some of the greatest places Just, we want to go back and camp. Incredible. Right along the Colorado River. And I River. still think we've only scratched the surface of that place. Yeah, just we just drove up and down Red Rock Canyons, Colorado River, campground, 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 nobody in them. So definitely going to go back there. Right. Um, when we have our solar system. Yeah, when we have a solar system, yeah. <laughs> and um, so that's what's coming up. But we really want to thank you. Um, we really love our subscribers and anyone else who watches for information or travel. The travel videos, right. Travel or how to take care of your RV. Right. So, and for those of you who haven't yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And ring that bell. That way you'll be notified each time we put out a new video. See you next time.